How you gonna come up in here talking about what the fuck is the best height? Let me tell you something about the best motherfucking height. Best height is any motherfucking height. As long as on the inside she a sweet person. She not out here terrorizing people for no motherfucking reason. Any height is the best height. I seen the sexiest women in life. Six foot eight. And some four foot one. So stop it. Stop it. You are not 38. And you are not a real person, frame underscore. Emmy, where's your picture? Girl, where's the garbanzo beans? They're canceled. Are you 6 AJ Mars? Wow. Oh, thank you, Bianca. I love you back. Oh, uh, thank you, Ajay. Thanks. Yeah, definitely 38, definitely 5'6. What you doing for your B day? Well, um, I'm really happy. I'm, I have so many bottles. So I'm just going to just drink. I'll probably FaceTime no one. <laughs> I will not FaceTime anybody. And um, maybe I'll get in my car and go to the beach and just look out the window. Yeah, Let's look out the window. Maybe I'll make out with a wall. Have you ever did that? Have you ever done that? Like when you were like younger, like just like to practice kissing like the finest guy in school, if he were to ever like look your way, like you knew you were gonna be prepared because you kissed so many walls, so many bears, so many pillows, so many times you kissed your hand. Baby, me too. Give me a little sip. All right. Here you go, baby. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck! No! No! Tell as old as time. Don't be on live while drinking wine. That man set you up, you sweet little bitch. Fuck. You are so. Damn. Um, damn, I don't even know how to finish this. You act like a beast. Oh, it's fine. This is a good couch. Wow, it's gone. Oh, <laughs> the couch is tipsy, but oh, she fine. False alarm. Okay, Andre. No stains. No stains. I could have sworn you were laundry detergent. Wow. Are you? Is this like a revelation? We can use Andre to get our stains out of our clothes. Wow. Absorbent. That's that rich people couch. Thank you, baby. Uh, I, I don't know what to say.
it definitely wasn't a cheap couch and but you know it gets a little annoying like here like i be wanting to like just sleep lovely like on the couch but this always happens right like the little thing i always push it out too far so perhaps i need like a rug to hold it in place that's the only thing like the ottoman just moves too easily so it's never really comfortable and then these guys this section always breaks off from this section so it's really a musical chairs couch it's really a chair and a love seat that's what the hell this is sorry i keep that towel everywhere just in case you know what i'm saying This is my friend pomegranate. Oh, I don't play. I don't play with these uh, armpits, y'all, at all. But yeah. You need stoppers at the bottom. Yeah? Okay. That's exactly what I'll do. Thanks, babe. Well, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really have much to give. You know what's also crazy? Like, everything is fucking up. Like, the internet, I think this has something to do with corona as well. Like, the internet has not been pleasant. Am I the only one experiencing this? That I feel like our connections are like piss poor. Every time I'm on Instagram, you want Instagram. Do we have beef? Do you want to meet me somewhere? It's because everyone's at home. Yeah, and everyone's on live probably. Yes, the internet is so slow right now. Wow, it just shows you, is the internet really all that? What are we really paying for? Because during the pandemic, are you really even making it pop? The one time you're supposed to be working the most. Internet, get it together or lower the prices. Ari, please let me design for you. Sydney, 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 what kind of designs are you talking? You want to make me some motherfucking outfits? Because I'll wear your motherfucking outfits. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to change my motherfucking life. I'm trying to change my motherfucking life. This recession and sadness and pandemic has taught me no more buying. No more buying anything other than what the fuck matters, okay? That's furniture, okay? Because you need a couch to sit on, all right? Let's just be real. You need a couch. That's food, okay? And I'm talking about food that doesn't easily spoil or at least get a freezer. If you do like food that easily spoils, get that freezer cute. A home because you can't rely on these apartments. Get a large sum of money, buy a fucking house. Because guess what? What's going to happen if we can't pay our rent? Because they got us fucked up. I start realizing. Niggas need side hustles. Niggas need side hustles, honey. So yeah, I learned. Buying all this designer shit. Money dwindling down the drain. Is Dolce and Gabbana going to feed me tonight? Matter of fact, did Dolce and Gabbana give it to me for free? No, they didn't. I gave them a month's rent. More. So it's like, no, I'm done being a dumbass fuck bitch. I'm done. I'm done spending my money. This is a terrible thing, but it is also, to some extent, 
No, it's, I don't know. This is a fucking terrible thing. But I'm learning a lot. Because I won't say it's a blessing. Because a lot of dark shit has come out of this as well. But I've definitely learned a lot. That's what I'm going to say. I learned a lot. It is important if you could buy a house by the house. Because who going to kick you out when you start singing at the top of your lungs at 3 a.m.? Who going to kick you out? Nobody. And I feel like it's easier to find money for your mortgage. It's also way more exciting. Then you could freak up your house. You could freak up your house in a beautiful way. You could say, bathroom, I hate you. I hate you, bathroom. So let me just remodel your little fuck ass. Let me put some Moroccan towel on that bitch. Let me put some Moroccan towel. Let me take out this tired ass tub and put me a nice claw foot joint in that motherfucker. Yes. You can't really do that with an apartment, you know? And I know, and don't get me wrong, I know it is, to some extent, a lot easier to get an apartment. But I'm saying, in these times, if we had a house, we could have fucking doomsday prepped that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my doomsday shit. I'm, at first, I was looking at this beautiful house, but realistically... I'm going to be real with y'all. Everything got canceled and postponed. So it's like, well, the house can wait because we're not about to lose our minds. We're not, we not about to put ourselves deep into a damn hole, okay? Even after we get out of this hole of a pandemic. No, we got to be smart. We got to be smart. So I'm realizing it's not smart to buy the house that I would like to buy. But I think I'm ready to buy. I want that goddamn house. Fuck everything. I should text the realtor back and just risk it all. It's so pretty. Fuck everything I just said. It's so pretty. But listen. Sydney, the answer is yes. Listen. If you can be smart about it, be smart about it. But I do feel like a house is a good idea. You don't got to be near nobody. Did you know you could plant a willow tree? You could plant a willow tree in your goddamn lawn. Willow tree, $75 I think. I googled it. You can order a willow tree and you could plant that motherfucker in your lawn. And next thing you know, your house looks like a whole motherfucking skeleton key. Kate Hudson, bitch. You look like a whole fucking Kate Hudson ass bitch in skeleton key in real motherfucking ass life. Because you ordered a little fucking willow tree off. I was going to say Amazon, but it's definitely a site. You could order some trees. I didn't even know that was possible. So many things are possible. You could order a fucking tree. You can turn your home into your safe haven. But it's like, it's hard because sometimes the places we want to live cost a motherfucking penny. But there are places all over the world. There are places. I know it's not that easy, but I'm just saying, when I look at what I'm paying for an apartment and looking at what I could be paying towards a house that could be mine one day, it's like, I've been a dumbass fuck ass bitch. Investing in Prada, investing in Dolce Gabbana, investing in Balenci fuck ass Yaga. Balenci fuck ass Yaga, what have you done for me? What have you done for me? Other than give me a fucking few ass sexy ass motherfucking likes on an Instagram post. What have you done for me? What have you done for me lately? What have you done for all of us? You guys, fuck spending money on designer. Listen, in times like this, it's like, why was you a dumb bitch? You should have been buying toilet paper, bitch. Now you got to fucking wipe your ass with, with fucking Kleenex. With, with fucking wash rags. You got to shower. Fuck it. You got to shower every time you wash your ass. I mean, re relieve your ass of the... The things that's going on inside.
You really dragging me right now. I'm dragging myself, honey. It's like when you think about all the money we make and how we have nothing to show for it. Sometimes it's because it's out of our control. They taking all of our money. The gas company, rent, bills, to mail something cross country because the person needs it tomorrow. It's like a hundred fucking dollars. Fuck you. Everything costs so much money. I get it. But it's just like, Sometimes we 